Hey, and welcome to another episode of Smoky Ribs. Today I'm going to be doing some hot summer night fajitas. It's a Tex-Mex style fajita with some true authentic Mexican flavors going on. It's going to be good. We're going to fire it up on the grill dome. Speaking of grill dome, look in the description box for a link. It's for a drawing for a small model custom color grill dome. Alright, you can get these if you win it. You can get it in multiple colors like for your football team. And if I win it, it's gonna be black and gold. All right, let's get busy. All right, to get this cook started, we're going to create a mojo marinade. We're going to start with the juice of one orange, one fresh orange. We're simply going to cut that, squeeze it into a container. Now from here, you want to take the juice of two fresh limes and do the exact same thing. Just squeeze it out into the same container. All right, now you want to get yourself two cloves of garlic. Just do a rough mince on this, just like I'm doing here. It's for a marinade, it'll be discarded afterwards. All right, now you wanna take and gather up some cilantro, about three tablespoons of cilantro. And there again, just give it kind of a rough chop. It doesn't have to be real fine. It's just simply going into the marinade. Just cut it up, toss it in. All right, now what I've got here is a can of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I'm gonna remove three of these chipotle peppers. And if you don't want your, your skirt steak to be quite as spicy, you could always cut this back to two or maybe even one. So anyway, just go ahead and give these also a chop, just like I'm doing here. And now uh, you wanna throw this in with, with the other ingredients in this marinade. All right, now you want to add in one teaspoon of cumin. Just toss it in. I've got three to four tablespoons of olive oil, good olive oil going into this marinade as well. Now I've got one half teaspoon of chili powder. Just give all this a good mix up, mix it all around. All right, now here I've got three pounds of skirt steak. This is a, a cut that comes from the diaphragm of the cow. It's usually a real thin cut as you can see here. It's got heavily marbling, which creates a real buttery and could be tender meat if cut and prepared right. Right here, I'm simply cutting it into pieces to where I can put it into a Ziploc bag and uh, make sure that the marinade gets completely covered on all surfaces. All right, I'm gonna pour my marinade over the top of this. I'm gonna seal it up. Massage that marinade in really well to make sure everything is good and coated. From there, it goes back into the refrigerator for two to four hours, no more than four hours. Gonna do a shout out for one of my subs, Corey Lewis. Thank you for requesting me to do a salsa. This is my rendition, my version of a Mexican style spicy salsa, starting off with two 10 ounce cans of Rotel tomatoes and green chilies. Now I'm adding in two pounds of Roma tomatoes just doing a rough chop on these. All right, now I've got one jalapeno leaving seeds and pith intact because we want it spicy, right, Corey? Now, one chipotle pepper and also one tablespoon of the adobo sauce that the pepper was packed in. All right, I've got one clove of garlic, rough chop. I've got the juice of one lime also going in. All right, I've got roughly a, about a teaspoon of cumin going in. You can do that to taste. Same thing with salt, about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. Now I've got about a half a cup, anywhere from a quarter to a half cup of cilantro, really depending on your taste. I've got about a half a cup here. All right, now I've got one half of uh, one yellow onion going in. All right, we're just gonna simply give this a good pulse. We're going to pulse it until it gets a good smooth consistency. All right, now from here, you just want to do a taste test. Adjust your 
your spices accordingly. Mmm. I'm not doing nothing this. It's dead on the money. You talk about fiery good. All right, now I'm making a very traditional guacamole. I've got five avocados that I've removed the seeds from. I'm gonna take the meat of the avocado, place it in a bowl, and from there we're gonna put in the juice of two to three limes. I'm only doing two, I think that's plenty. All right, now from here I'm adding in two cloves of very minced garlic, one half of a yellow onion, finely chopped. All right, now you wanna add in some kosher salt or sea salt, season to taste. Now I have a handful of cilantro leaves that I'm gonna do a real fine chop on as well. I'm just gonna to toss that into the mix. All right, now I've got black pepper. Once again, just season to your own preference. A drizzle of olive oil. I've got one serrano pepper, fresh serrano. I'm tossing in. I left seeds in pit for some kick. Now I'll take you a potato masher. You wanna mash this into a chunky consistency, just like you see here. Place it back into the fridge, and uh, it's gonna be great on these fajitas. All right, before I get started with this cook, I wanted you to look at something here. This is the charcoal that I put in here for the brisket that I did last Sunday. And if you remember right, I filled my firebox all the way up because it's my first cook. Didn't know how much charcoal I would need on a long cook like a brisket. All it used was just this center right here, a couple inches deep. That is it. Look at that. I've got all this charcoal left. It started at the top and it was burning itself down a little bit. I'm I'm in disbelief of this. I mean, this is like a half a bag of the large bag of charcoal that I dumped in here and I only use like two handfuls. Unbelievable. All right, now as you can see, I just installed my rapid light charcoal, electric charcoal starter right here. And uh, it, you might also notice I didn't do anything with this charcoal. I didn't even clean it out. I'm just, I just moved it around a little bit, put it on top of this. We're gonna keep cooking. I still can't believe that. That's just efficiencies of these grilled dome Kamados. All Kamados are efficient, but I swear I've never seen a cook that long use that less of charcoal ever. All right, we're lit. Man, it didn't take long. This rapid light starter, very fast, about five minutes. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I got the lower vent wide open. I've got the dome lid wide open, of course. And we're gonna just let that sit there and get hot. All right, I've had the skirt steak marinating for around three hours. I wouldn't go much more than four hours because keep in mind you got all this lime juice and citric acid in here and it will actually start cooking the meat. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do before I pop these on this, on this grill dome is to add a little seasoning there in the way of salt and pepper. Keep in mind this skirt steak is it's fairly thin as you can see right here it's not going to take long to cook we got a sizzle going on we're going to let these go roughly four and a half minutes on each side All right, I do believe we're about ready to come off of here. Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna place these over here on some foil. I'll wrap it up tight and I'm gonna let these rest just long enough to get these onions and peppers ready. All right, I got the red sweet bell pepper and I've got onion. I've got two bell pepper and I think I've got four medium sized onions. These are yellow onions. I've got them on my Mojo griddle. That is the perfect tool to do this on. I'm also going to be warming up tortillas on this Mojo griddle as well. We're not far from eating. And by the way, I did salt and pepper these after I initially put them on the Mojo. All right, all you want is just to heat these through. You don't want to add any color. If you add color, then you start drying them out. Just get them hot. Okay, I wanted a medium rare, and that's exactly what I got. 
Let's take a bite. Mmm, very bright traditional flavors. Excellent. Until next time, Smoky Ribs.